It's often stated that when working a muscle, we want to work from attachment to attachment. If that's the case, it's very important that we know where the bony attachments of the muscle are. And that means we need to know our bony landmarks. The transverse processes of the cervical spine are very often misinterpreted by the therapist. They are actually quite far anterior. A lot of therapists in their mind place them way back here. Specifically, if I were to talk about the transverse process of the atlas, C1, the transverse process of the atlas is directly located here. It is directly inferior underneath the earlobe, directly posterior to the ramus of the mandible. It is well anterior to the mastoid process of the temporal bone. Why would this matter? Well, let's say I'm working the levator scapulae muscle. The levator scapulae muscle attaches to the transverse processes of C1, C2, C3, and C4. If in my mind these transverse processes are way back here, I will never work the more superior aspect of levator scapulae. So it's important to be able to visualize the location of the transverse processes of the cervical spine and specifically the transverse process of C1, the atlas, should be well understood to be located very far anterior. It can help to visualize the transverse processes of the cervical spine by looking at a skeleton. Here is a direct lateral view on the skeleton and here is the transverse process of C1, the atlas. We can see it's between the ramus of the mandible and the mastoid process of the temporal bone, directly inferior, that's the external auditory meatus, so the earlobe would be right here. There is the transverse process of C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7. So we can see how far anterior these transverse processes are located.